Hello everybody. Good evening. Kamal Atul Poonam. So good to see you. I remember my visit to you. Very, very nice. <laughs> How nice is that? Really wonderful. We also. Very nice. I will surely remember your visit, man. <laughs> I was not there unfortunately, but uh, yes. I saw all the videos, man. It was so amazing. It was overwhelming. Overwhelming. <laughs> Thank you. I I have, I, have, I have always wanted to write to ma'am and visit her in Pondicherry, at Pondicherry, of course. Up to time to go about. Her life is very warm, of course. Warm so, and warm close. I'm going it's warm yes. and close. Yes. Warm and close. Of course. Everything's so close right now. Yes, I can imagine how it must be. At least in Solon, we have the. Uh, you know, the weather on our side is comfortable, so any kind of activity is not an issue. But I can imagine how it must be over there with the heat wave going up. Yes. Okay, so let's get going. We are about to go live. Uh, yes, go we ahead. are about to go live in 30 seconds then. Uh, I will give the cue. I, yes, we are live now. So, good evening, everyone. Good evening to the 40th episode of the Yogananda Guru series. What could be better for Shulini? What could be more inspiring for Shulini? Then to have the very inspiring Dr. Kiran Bedi with us today. As you all know, Dr. Kiran Bedi is a very inspiring, I would call, daughter of India. I won't speak much about her because all of you know who she is. She's the Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry. She's been a very illustrious police officer, winner of the Megasese Award, and I think the list goes on. The format for the day would be a 10 to 15 minute, very inspirational talk by, by Dr. Bedi. And then we'll get into Q&A. So please, participants, ask your questions. Don't hesitate. I'm sure Ma'am Bedi will speak from her heart. Over to you, Dr. Kiran Bedi. So these are all uh, college students and the faculty of your own? We have yes. uh, people from outside and students and uh, faculty. So we'll have around four to 5,000 people on this webinar. But that's not all that was. I thought it was a very limited college. Your university only. Anyway, it's always mainly, a pleasure. Mainly, mainly university students, that's right. Okay, good. Anyway, thank you. I absolute, I remember your my visit to Shulini and it st stays etched in my memory. Most beautiful, most cynic and children very, very enthusiastic, full of life and energy. Uh, I first of all extend you my heartiest greetings on this day. I don't know how you're coping up. You all must be at home. The college is closed. And I hope you're using your time well and optimally because nothing is permanent. All this too will go. It has come without our asking. It will go by our actions. This COVID did not, this crisis has not come by our asking, by our doing. But it is something like nature sent. In life, it is something like 90 10. 90 things. 90% things happen by our doing, by our own actions. But 10% things come up as an X factor. An X factor is which we don't have a hand in it. But the only thing which we have in our hands is how we respond to it. So I think this is coming on to those, those 10. It's like a typhoon, a cyclone, uh, an earthquake, or a disaster of a, a kind um, which, uh, which we've all seen, a tsunami. It's not generated by human mind, human created. It's not human hands which have created it. Or oh, there we we can debate about the environmental challenges which we are creating ourselves by environmental pollution. But this is an area which started from China, whether it is man-made or whether it is zoonotic, whether it's by animal uh, contamination, whether it's genuine, uh, uh, absolutely slip of research. That only history will tell us. But the fact is, we in India have not created it. We only received it. How did we receive it? Because we received it through total cross, um, the speed of exchange because of the human contact. And as people traveled widely from China to everywhere else, that this started to come up. So it's not, it's that 10%. So what is life about? What is preparation of academics, preparation of education is about? Is the preparation of this 10%. How do we react to this? How do we respond to it? I do know everybody is not in the same situation. Everybody doesn't have a very happy home. Everybody doesn't have resources. 
everybody doesn't have the right kind of space everybody doesn't have the right kind of mental attitude everybody doesn't have the right kind of climate everybody doesn't have the kind of things you need at the moment or the loved ones or the dear ones with you everybody doesn't enjoy the same kind of health equally so every individual is different that's quite understandable but the response is in your hands whether you are happy or sad whether you're healthy or not the prevention to this crisis is in our hands and that's why it's been said we must wear a mask to protect ourselves so that we don't transmit our breath or vapors to the other our, uh, our foul mouthing everything but and also keeping the hands clean and social distancing um, uh, and masking so these are the three s which have been constantly said i do hope you're all adhering to that's why that's the reason most of the student community is at home elder ones also being home for the reason that this virus immediately attacks the the immunity system and with age our own respective immunities has their own diminishing issues and therefore anybody with already a health issue the cells uh, attack that first and therefore whether it's kidney or it's heart or it's uh, anything else it gets affected so children and the elders have to be protected so this is the message of this crisis crisis is first of all we must understand this is not going to stay forever secondly is we don't have a choice we don't have a choice we just have to now deal with it and survive it so therefore health mental physical and spiritual health is the priority during this period and no education which does not enhance your spiritual uh, uh, capacity or spiritual elevation which does not uh, uh, increase your intellectual capacity which does not increase your awareness about how do you deal with your uh, system as a mind body soul it's not a complete education understand as far as i'm concerned let me tell you what education meant to me education meant to me knowledge it meant to me uh, skills it meant to me how do i become a better human being it meant to me self reliance it meant to me value systems for me education was not just passing an examination examinations we all pass we have to study otherwise how do you get certified but for me education has a larger meaning that is why you won't believe it when i used to travel for my tennis tournaments and travel all over the country as a student from the age of 16 or rather from the age of 14 from the age of 14 i had started to travel on the in the train traveling all over the country to play competitive tennis and many times i was the only girl amongst boys because no girls were playing competitive tennis at that time but my father used to send me my parents used to send me of course we had our own club boys there was a coach etc so i used to be part of a team but i was the only girl but let me tell you you students what i used to do at the age of 14 15 i should travel with my books i should travel with my books and i should take my school bag along why because i had to come back and take my examinations but i should travel with my books but before i travel with my books what i'd like to share with you as an academia and uh, of course as teachers is that i should consult my teachers what are the books i travel with and i should go to the library and now we have a we have a laptop so we can have a immediately the google and the wikipedia and the research then we never had this we only had a school bag we had a a, a what a main library a hard copy library i used to go to the library get books issued take them along look at the chapters of the books which i was going to study research travel and read travel and read so while others would have fun so would i have fun i would dance with them i would laugh with them i would sing with them travel with them uh, compete with them but when it came to the evening hour when it was over with tennis i used to go back to my bed be in my room and i used to study i used to read and study and when i used to come back from my exams now why did i it was not only for examination i was a very research student already so just as you do google research now i had these hard copies and any chapter for instance if i were to study or chapter on geography or a history and let's say i used to study in the masters i had to do plato i used to do political thought i had to do study plato aristotle locke or rousseau i used to do milton poetry i had english honors as well i would research one chapter i would leave a book on that chapter if i were to research plato 
I have studied all of Plato. If it was 10 books in the library about Plato, I would read all the 10 books on Plato. And what I used to study in Plato was, why did he think the way he did? What was his environment? Why was he different from the rest? So I was very curious socio socioeconomically, psychologically, what made Plato? What made Socrates different? What did Aristotle do differently? So I was a very keen student of human life. So I, for me, education was research. For, for me, education was acquisition of more and more knowledge so that I could acquire and be a better human being. Not that I wanted to top the, of course, I wanted to do exceedingly well because I was a, a, a person who was very self-respecting, who always wanted to do exceedingly well, but not to say, look, I'm better than you. No, I was only to say, I'm better for myself. I'm, I'm better than uh, yesterday. I always wanted my today better than yesterday, more knowledge than yesterday, more hardworking than yesterday, more disciplined than yesterday, more punctual than yesterday, more physically fit than yesterday, but without any pressure. There was no pressure. It was self-generated. It was self-delivered. It was self-targeted. It was self-oriented. So this is my, for me, the meaning of education. But this goes back to my school days. My school days were that even those, if I would go from fifth standard to sixth standard, my parents used to get me, take me to the bookshop and get me my next day, next year's classes, next year class. And I used to get a new bag with the new, with the new classes. And I started to study during my summer vacation, playing competitive tennis, practicing, working hard, and also looking at the very curious, what is in the next class? What subjects are there? What can I practice? So it was like, it was like nurture and nurturance. Something was within my nature and something was being nurtured at home. Why am I telling you? Why am I telling you this? It's not to get, get your adulation or your appreciation because this is what student life is about. Since I'm talking to academics and now that you have time in hand, that's the reason I'm addressing this is that use your time well. Time is precious. Time and tide waits for no man. This time is not going to wait for you. It has, it has come and it will go away and you will remember even if it look and also one thing is very clear. It's not that some are having classes and some are not having classes. Some are looking ahead. Some are competing and in getting interviewed. You know, everybody's flat. You know, there's no competition right now. It's all together. Everybody's together. Nobody's ahead. You are all at the start. We are all at the starting race. We are all at the starting point and we the person the moment the starting point is over and you are saying, OK, now do the marathon. Those who have read now, those who are prepared now, those who have disciplined now, those who have done the better things now, those who have acquired new skills now, those who have uh, well invested now. Yesterday, an IPS officer came here to call on me and she had just reported to Pondicherry government. And I, uh, she said, ma'am, before I say I'm now reporting to you as SSP in Pondicherry, you came to my school when I was in the seventh standard. She's an IPS officer today. She's come here and she told me, ma'am, I want to tell you, you came to my school and I was in the seventh standard then. And I would remember one line. She remembered this one line and it comes so naturally right now for you. And what did I tell these children? I said, don't waste time, invest time. She remembered it as a seventh year student, seventh standard student. I told her, don't waste time, invest time. To me, this is a COVID time for investment. You have time in hand, do it. have a day schedule, have a good day schedule where you will uh, you get up early, get up early, um, get to do yoga, do a prayer, uh, do uh, whatever the situation is, do your little, if you have a place, do your uh, balcony gardening. Do Surya Namaskar, do Mantra Jab, depends. Be at peace with yourself. Help in the house, help people, cook around. If you have uh, sisters and friends, have a, a sisters, brothers, sisters, be a plan, plan for them. Workers, do a little satsang. All of you pray together. Bring peace in the house. 
then once you do that then you have a reading hour you have a writing hour you have a sharing hour you have a class hour if you are online education you have a timing hour you have a preparation hour just get more organized so once you do that it will make a then a creativity hour get into reading and writing expression hour i think that you can plan you have a music hour you can do learn creativity you have an itr learn it which you have never had time like for instance um, many people who got time now are doing it courses they they had lost out time they couldn't do more but now many public officials since we are saying only 33% people should come to the workplace they are now using this for learning for uh, learning new courses they are learning new softwares so i think it's called invest time and don't waste time no sulk time no regret time because it's not your generated it came from that 10% so when come that comes from 10% accept it as it comes and rise to the occasion build your health immunity eat the right things um do some the do right thinking give your mind food kind of nutrition like i do i every morning i pick up i pick up some good reading i pick up good listening because my morning hours are now flexible even at work uh, in working so i'm using my morning hours also to ramp up my own reading my own morning nutrition and uh, surfing through the net to pick up some interesting things i could listen so friends there is a way there's a way of doing things uh, this is my opening statement i've mixed it with my personal example because i thought it's now my age is to give you personal examples i'm not too young i'm pretty good now in a nice in age which which means uh, i'm into post retirement so therefore i this is left in governor's work is post retirement so i'm in that my post retirement season of life where i can tell you and when i look back what worked for me what worked for me was my habits habits of reading habits of writing habits of regular fitness habits of positive thinking habits of uh, uh, reading out to see what i can, can habits of no regrets habits of no complaints habits of energy building where i would build my own energy and then invest my energy and a habit of valuing my time having a habit of uh, build character building these were my habits which have stood me in very good stead it's because of this that i could be self reliant all my life i could remain a giver to i could be of help to others i could be a problem solver and yet remain within my means i have a home to live i've earned my home i don't need more i still don't have a personal car yet because there's been no need and then now when i go back from left in governor's office back to delhi i don't think i may need it i will call a uber or a taxi and work it out so point is you got to work you got to just keep your needs in a, at a reasonable place and this enough as long as god has given you good health and capability i think god has given you everything but that doesn't come by chance you got to look after it every day i thought this would be my opening statement now it's 5:20 i'm with you till 6 o'clock so i like to answer your questions so that you have almost a more than half an hour 35 minutes to connect with me because this webinar is not to be one way one way of th- i want to thank the Uh, your university your uh, whole campus your faculty members who made this possible i see all of them are right there poonam nanda and atul khosla ji and uh, your uh, your faculty your uh, managers your vice chancellor your organizers who already who invited me to this great interaction thank you and now let's get on to questions as you would like to pose yes yeah. thank you very much yeah go ahead bro I said before the others ask you a question. Uh, I actually first want to thank you because I was so overwhelmed because Atul and I just discussed that you know we should invite you for a guru talk and I said I would send a mail and I was so amazed because I sent it in the evening and next morning you had replied. It was it was unbelievable and I was so excited and I went running to Atul and I said guess what she replied <laughs> and I have written three mails to you and you have responded to each one of them. You're your um, you know secretary may have taken some time but you have not honestly thank you so much for that and i and i and my first question is how do you manage this i mean you must be getting hundreds of emails every day how, how do you manage i mean i must be one of them so how do you manage your day so well and how do you respond to each one of us so good 
Do tell us. I think it's being respectful towards you. It's a respectful to communications we receive. I believe if I've opened myself, then I must respond. Now, I get many WhatsApp messages also on the phone of all kinds of grievances and complaints. They are all responded. Because if they have written to me and I've made myself accessible, then I have to respond. So I have to create systems. I respond. I make my team respond. I create teams. And I also have good people. You see, you, you also get the nature also sends you good people to work with. It also gives you teams to work with. So my intention is to be of help. But then God also connects with me people who can help. And we work together. So it's a teamwork also. Somewhere it's an individual response and somewhere it's a team response. But the spirit underlying the entire thing is if somebody is in need, genuine need, and is uh, we can be of help, then don't delay. Then be there. Well, it's man. Thank you very much. Uh, I was getting goose pimples when you were speaking, so thank you very, very much. You know, my wife, Avni, uh, you of course won't remember, but uh, she was at Bal Bharti in Delhi and uh, she presented a work to you. So every second day, Avni comes to me and says, you know, you know, Dr. Kiran Pedi had come and patted my back. So I think she owes part of her career to you. And she's got a question for you. Uh, she's asking that in retrospect, uh, if you had to do something different in life, what would that be? Look, I have two other academic degrees. I did a law degree and I did a PhD. So I could have been both a practicing lawyer also and a, lect and a, and a teacher also in college or university. I opened two more fronts for myself other than the Indian police service career because I liked, just, I liked justice and I like teaching and I love education. So if I were to do not this, I did. I served as a lecturer for political science in Khalsa College for Women two years prior to my Indian police service. So I was already in the teaching profession. If by chance I had not made it to the All India Civil Services, I would have gone into university teaching a lot. I would have done my PhD the way I did. Even after doing PhD, uh, the, the, that is the reason. I opened up two more careers for myself or the third career full-time giving was my two NGOs. I set up two non-profit organizations also to serve the community. So I would have, could have also been a full-time community worker. So there are three and by the way uh, the community work is continuing with my life. PhD post writing is continuing with my life and law is a part of my profession. See how all the three things have actually enriched my life because I continue to invest my time by constant continuous continuing education. Fantastic. No wonder you would, you know, immediately agreed to come on Shulani. Thank you very much, ma'am. It's a love for students. So Ridhima is asking two questions, ma'am. First, she's asking, uh, did Kiran Bedi know that she will become Kiran Bedi when she was growing up? No, Kiran Bedi knew she'll be Kiran Pishabria. My maiden surname is Pishabria. I knew I would be Kiran Pishavriya. Never knew I'd be Bedi. Bedi <laughs> came later. So all I knew was, yes, I will be Kiran Pishavriya. I used to sign up uh, all yeah. my autographs as Kiran Pishavriya because Pishavriya is my ma maiden surname of my mother and father, which is dearest to me. And I used to, after my marriage, I used to sign Kiran Pishavriya Bedi. But gradually, it, the Pishavriya got lost in the middle. And did Kiran Bedi knew that she would also become Crane Bedi? <laughs> well, that I didn't know because that came from a rickshaw wala who called me Kiran Ke Badle Crane. Oh, I see. Okay. I remember, ma'am, when I was a very young boy, I was visiting Delhi, I think 1982, you were there in Delhi during the Asia Games. And uh, my Masi was such a big fan of yours. They used to live in Morris Nagar and you did some amazing cleaning of Delhi in those days. <laughs> yeah, Tell Morris us a little Nagar. bit about that. Yeah, Morris Nagar was my district. It, I was in charge of the district. You see, my approach was to do better wherever I was, to be of value every day. I used to look out for what can I do today. I used not sit in the office. I used to 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 sit in the office. I
तो इसलिए क्रेन वेदी भी नाम इसीलिए आया था क्योंकि गाड़ियाँ खराब पार्क थी सब जगह गलत तो मैंने पूछा कि ये इनको हटाएं कैसे क्योंकि सड़क आदि तो ऑक्यूपाइड है तो उन्होंने कहा मैडम सिर्फ क्रेन से हम हटा सकते हैं तो मैंने कहा हमारे पास कितनी क्रेन हैं सारी दिल्ली पुलिस में बोले दो क्रेने हैं एक वर्कशॉप में है और एक खराब है बड़ी हुई दोनों एक लाइन में है एक खराब वर्कशॉप में तो इस सारी दिल्ली को एक क्रेन क्या करेगी एक क्रेन क्या करेगी तो मैंने कहा हाँ पर क्रेने हैं कहाँ बोले प्राइवेट क्रेने बहुत सारी मैं कितनी प्राइवेट क्रेने बोले सोलह सोलह प्राइवेट क्रेने मैंने कहा सोलह पुलिस हूँ ना तो मैंने कहा बोलो सोलह को प्रेन क्रेन वालों को बुलाओ मैंने उनको सबको बोला ये सारी सोलह क्रेने आज से ट्रैफिक पुलिस की हैं आपको क्या चाहिए बोले हम कि हमको चलान करें तो हमें इस चलान का पैसा चाहिए मैंने कहा मुझे कोई पैसा नहीं चाहिए तुम चलान करो मैं तुम्हें बताऊंगी कौन सी गाड़ी उठानी है तो कोई पैसा खर्चे बिना सोलह क्रेने हम दो दिन में सारी दिल्ली में फैला दी इसीलिए क्रेन वेदी का नाम हुआ कोई सरकारी पैसा नहीं खर्चा उन्होंने भी अपना लेकिन शर्त ये थी आप चलान उसी को करोगे जो मैं कहूंगी ये नहीं किसी का चलान करो पैसे कमाने के लिए नहीं लेकिन जो गलत है तो गलत है तो इतनी सफाई हुई सड़कों की इसीलिए हुई क्योंकि मैं रोज निकल जाती थी देखने के लिए कि आज मुझे अच्छा क्या करना है सुधारना क्या है और ढूंढने जाती थी इट्स टू लुक आउट इसी पब्लिक सर्विस में अगर आप फील्ड ऑफिसर रहो तो आप बहुत काम करते हो मैं सारी उम्र फील्ड में ही रही फील्ड रोज ढूंढती थी इवन एज लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर ऑफ पुडुचेरी मैंने कोई इतवार शनिवार नहीं छोड़ा इस कोविड से पहले जहाँ हम लोग मॉर्निंग राउंड में नहीं निकलते एज लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर कभी कोई तालाब कभी कोई पॉन्ड कभी कोई ड्रेन कभी कोई पार्क कोई ना कोई म्यूनिसपैलिटी में देखने के लिए कि साफ है पानी है लोगों को ठीक मिल रहा है सैनिटेशन है तो ये हम लोग यहाँ पर भी वही आदत जो फील्ड की आदत जो मैं छोटी उम्र में थी टेनिस खेलने की रोज भागने की एक्सरसाइज करने की वही फील्ड वर्क मेरे काम में हंड्रेड परसेंट आ गई और मुझे फील्ड के बिना तसली नहीं मिलती देखिए जैसे ये मेरे लिए फील्ड है आज जो मैं आपसे बात कर रही हूँ ये मेरे लिए फील्ड है वेबिनार इज नाउ ओपनिंग अप थ्रू टेक्नोलॉजी सो मेरे लिए जब आपने फोन किया मेरे लिए एक आदत थी टू कनेक्ट विद पीपल सो नाउ आई एम कनेक्टिंग थ्रू टेक्नोलॉजी अर्लियर मैं गाड़ी लेके जाती थी अब मुझे गाड़ी की जरूरत नहीं है यहाँ बैठे हम काम बात कर सकते हैं तब मैं आपकी इनविटेशन की इतनी दूर हवाई जहाज से खर्चे करके आती थी अब मैं हम सीधा तो क्यों नहीं मिले ये आदत है टू कनेक्ट आदत है टू रीच आदत है टू बी वैल्यू आदत ऑल्सो सेल्फ वैल्यू क्योंकि जब मैं आपसे बात कर, करती हूँ तो मेरी भी थिंकिंग और क्लियर होती है मैं भी उसके लिए पढ़ती हूँ मैं भी कोई रिसर्च और करती हूँ अपने आप को अपडेट करती हूँ इस इट्स विन विन सिचुएशन Excellent, ma'am. Uh, one more question on uh, Varsha is asking. You won the very famous Nagasese Award. It's the Nobel Prize of Asia. So tell us more about that, about your work, and uh, how excited were you when you got the award? Nagasese Award was a turning point in my life. There is no doubt about it. It was turned as a turning point. Because when Nagasese Award was given, when I worked in policing, I also worked on many improvements. इट वॉज रिफॉर्मेटिव पुलिसिंग इट वॉज करेक्टिव पुलिसिंग जो चोर पकड़ते थे ड्रग्स बेचने वाला उसका ट्रीटमेंट कराते थे या कोई शराब कच्ची शराब कोई बनाता था उसको सुधारते थे हमारा सारा काम था पकड़ना और सुधारना एज ए पुलिस ऑफिसर सो सारी लाइफ जब हमने पकड़ना और सुधारना एक दिन मेरी पोस्टिंग होगी आई जी जेल तिहाड़ जेल की जिसमें कोई भी नहीं जाना चाहता था और वो समझा जाता था कि सजा वाली पोस्टिंग है मैं जब उस पोस्टिंग में गई तब हमने वही सुधार की स्पिरिट वही रिफॉर्म वही करेक्शन हम तिहार जेल में ले गए अब वो दस हजार लोगों की का शहर था शहर टेन थाउजेंड का शहर इट वॉज अ टाउनशिप जिसमें वो लोग वही रहते थे लेकिन सारे दुखी सारे मेंटली नेगेटिव सारे इन वे मानसिक तरीके से परेशान और बीमार लेकिन उसको हमने जब ट्रीटमेंट करना शुरू करा और वहाँ शिक्षा भी लाए योग अभ्यास सुबह लाए सुबह उठते थे तो योग करते थे शाम को ब्रह्म कुमारी से प्रवचन सुनते थे आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग करते थे और ओशो को बुलाया हमने और शाम को संडे को चर्च वाले आते थे इतवार को गुरु हमने सारे फेथ्स को बुलाया संडे की प्रेयर्स में सो सभी फेथ्स वहाँ थे तो सभी फेथ्स के लोगों को बुलाया कि इनको मानवता सिखाओ सो so, जब मैंने सबको स्पेस दी कि शाम को इनको सबको मानवता सिखाओ सभी लोग एक दूसरे को सुनने लगे 
एक दूसरे के विचार समझने लगे और उन्होंने रियलाइज किया कि ये लोग हमको बाहर बांटते हैं मैसेज तो एक ही है मानवता कर्तव्य सेवा मूल्य ईमानदारी सच्चाई छल कपट नहीं तो वेन दिस हार टू गेट दीज मैसेजेस बहुत तब्दीली अंदर आने लगी फिर हमने एक हजार लोगों का विपसना का मेडिटेशन शुरू किया एक हजार का कैंप ये हिस्टोरिकली मैन काइंड में पहली बारी एक हजार का एक ही टाइम पर विपसना का ध्यान शिविर लगा जिसमें उनके मेन टीचर एस एन गोयका जी खुद आए और एक्सपीरियंस भी किया तो अगर किसी ने देखनी है ये प्रोग्राम तो ये फिल्म है डूइंग टाइम डूइंग विपसना अगर ये फिल्म देखोगे तो आपको सारा त्यौहार मिलेगा और सारी फिल्म के बारे में आपको पता चलेगा डूइंग टाइम डूइंग विपसना ये टू इजराइली वेमेन ने आकर बनाई थी वो हुआ क्या कि ये जब मेरे पास रोज मेरे पास बहुत सारे फॉरेनर्स भी थे फॉरेन प्रिजनर्स ये फॉरेनर्स को भी मैं बहुत सुधारा तो हुआ क्या ये सारी जगह चिट्ठियां लिखते थे मुझे नहीं मालूम चिट्ठियां लिखते थे क्या हो रहा है यहाँ क्या तो सारी दुनिया में फैल गया अखबार कोई टेलीविजन नहीं था उस वक्त कोई मेजर टेलीविजन कोई कवर नहीं कर रहा था हमारा प्रोग्राम हमारा बहुत कम था टेलीविजन उस वक्त ऐसे तरीके की डिबेट्स नहीं होती थी तो इट वाज ओनली पेपर न्यूज न्यूज पेपर में जरूर आता था कि हम वहां योगा करा रहे हैं पढ़ा रहे हैं सुधार रहे हैं लेकिन ये जो फॉरनर प्रिजनर्स थे दे वर राइटिंग ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड कोई ऑस्ट्रेलिया से आया है कोई यूएस से आया है कोई स्विट्जरलैंड से आया है कोई अफ्रीका से आया है कोई एशियन कंट्री से आया दे वर राइटिंग लेटर्स दे वर राइटिंग लेटर्स टू द एम्बेसी हुआ क्या कि इंटरनेशनल रिसर्च शुरू हो गई कि ये जो प्रोग्राम्स है ये फेक है कि जेनुअन है तो मुझे पता चला कि एडवांस टीम क्योंकि मैंने प्रिजन में विजिटर्स अलाउ किए थे तो ऐसे विजिटर भी आए मैंने उनको परमिट किया मुझे क्या पता कौन किस लिए आया तो जब उन्होंने खुद आके रिसर्च की तब उन्होंने ये देखा कि जो हम प्रिजन में कर रहे हैं यही काम हम पुलिस में करते थे यही काम नवज्योति संस्था खोली थी जब इंडिया विजन फाउंडेशन ये खोली थी नवज्योति संस्था ने ड्रग एडिक्ट का ट्रीटमेंट करने के लिए तो उन्होंने कहा कि अरे इतने साल एक ही चीज में लगन है वो है टू ब्रिंग पॉजिटिव रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द पीपल एंड द पुलिस एंड नंबर टू हर एक चीज इज रिफॉर्मेटिव मैक्सिस अवार्ड कम्स फॉर कंसिस्टेंट ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस इट डजेंट कम फॉर टू ईयर्स वर्क मैक्सिस अवार्ड comes for continuity agar aap mein authenticity rahi to it comes for long term work so unhone dekha ki iski 25 20 saal ki policing mein ek hi bhavna chal rahi hai wo hai sudhar wo hai prevention wo hai correction wo hai nyay wo hai imandari aur wo hai police aur positive relationship ki police aur public ke ek dusre ke kareeb kaise aaye aur ek dam announcement hui maxis award ki aur मैंने आपको कहा कि टर्निंग पॉइंट ऐसे हुआ कि टर्निंग पॉइंट में जो लोग इसको क्रिटिसाइज करते थे मेरे काम को तिहाड़ जेल में के अब ये सुधार रही तो अब तो बाहर आके ये और क्राइम करेंगे इनको तो मारना चाहिए इनको सजा देनी चाहिए प्रिजन तो सजा के लिए थी तो मैंने उसको बोला अरे लोग जेल में है ऑलरेडी सजा में है अगर मैं और सजा करूंगी तो ये बाकी आके गुस्से में और रिवेंज आके करेंगे इट्स बेटर कि मैं इनकी गुस्सा निकाल दू इनको नॉर्मल करके बाहर भेजूं तो ये सेफर है ना कि आई सेंड देम एंड्री इट इज सेफर इफ आई सेंड देम स्टेबलाइज तो वो जो क्रिटिसिज्म था वो काफी हाई प्रोफाइल भी था वो लोग जो कि कंपीट करते थे कि हमारे साथ एक बैच की है एक ही बैच की है या हमसे जूनियर है इसका नाम ज्यादा और सो बहुत सारी क्रॉस थी मैं मैं उसकी परवाह नहीं करती थी मैं अपना काम करती रहती थी मैक्स से अवार्ड जब आया सब बंद हो गया it stopped it actually was a message to them the why don't you do you also do what she can do what she is doing you can also do as a public official aapko kaun mana karta hai kaam to barabar hai na uske paas bhi power usni jitni aapke paas hai lekin wo apne kaam ko create apni zimmedari badhati hai tum apni zimmedari ghatate ho tum bhi badhana so it actually stopped them. it was a turning point in my career where a lot of animosity hostility opposition to this correctional work and power of prevention kyunki kaha jata tha ki medal to terrorism ke liye milta hai medal se nahi kitne log mare kitne logo se encounter kiya kitne log ko bachaya aise warfare mujhe max se mila kitne log sudhare kitne log crime se bache to kabhi bhi nobel peace prizes ko kehte hain also is never been given for 
fully peace proceeding. It was never given for power of prevention. It's all, awards have been given for other this match such like international. So may he carry something which happened by itself, but it became a turning point. Because uske baad there's been no looking back. Because usne fir award money bhi aayi, jiski wajah se mere jeevan mein ek aur sansta ka janam hua, jiska naam hai India Vision Foundation, jo aaj bhi prison reforms ke kam prison program karti aa rahi hai, prisoners ke bacho ko padhati hai. महिलाओं को पढ़ाती है पुरुषों को स्किल करती है बच्चों को आज वो बच्चे जो हमारे साथ चार साल की उम्र में थे उनके बच्चे अब चार साल के हो गए क्योंकि इट्स नाउ ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड प्रोग्राम सो जो मेरे साथ शुरू हुए थे सम ऑफ देम ऑलरेडी फोर ईयर ओल्ड सम ऑफ देम आर ऑलरेडी मदर्स एंड फादर्स पर उनकी लाइफ बदल गई क्योंकि उनके सुधार हो गया सो दिस इज हाउ मैक्स से अवार्ड गेम इट ब्रॉट एन अवार्ड विच गेव बर्थ टू अ न्यू फाउंडेशन अ न्यू एंड द वर्क कैरीज ऑन जो हमने काम किया थे हर जेल में वो संस्था के थ्रू बेर ऑफ पुलिस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड और एन जी ओज और डोनर्स के साथ मिलकर और बहुत तरक्की की और आज वो संस्था बहुत लोगों की अच्छी सेवा कर रही है मैंने भी उसके साथ का, काफ़ी किया जब मेरी रिटायरमेंट हो गई थी तो मैंने भी अपना समय बहुत कुछ आई वी एफ को भी दिया इंडिया विजन को भी नवज्योति को भी दिया सो ये मैक्सिस अवार्ड में ये सब लिखा हुआ है इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर यू कैन गो टू दिस बुक आई डेयर इट हैज़ द चैप्टर ऑन मैक्सिस अवार्ड It has a lot of documentation. आप पढ़ सकते हैं। मैम, you know you've got so many foundations that you run. Uh, of course, Poonam asked you how do you do it, but a question Ritima पूछ रही है आपसे, how does your day look like? Are you still playing tennis? I would have loved to play tennis. I fell on my shoulder while I was playing my tennis. I fell on my shoulder here, hard core. So this had a little. My shoulder became difficult. so it now pains if i hit a backhand but i don't play tennis every day uh but now and secondly it's difficult i could have played no bahana baji i'm not looking for an excuse but you see to leave work now at 5 o'clock is difficult because the work is at its peak at 5 o'clock now my priority is my work but i do my fitness regularly but i can go back to uh, if i won't be in a full time work like this when i go back to delhi I might go back to my gymkhana club and play tennis. Okay. So there's there's one question which is uh, uh, it's going to make you blush. Uh, students are asking why aren't there more Kiran babies in the services today? Well. Look, I am a product of nurture and nature, nurturance. I don't think I am an exception. No, no, I don't believe that. Any pale, pale five, seven, ten years of parenting is very important. Schooling is important. Jisko bachi ko jo ye mil jaye, sahi mixture. Usko mera kala uska foundation ban jati hai. Uske baad uska apni bhi duty banti hai ki uski soch. So I think it's about making. It's a making. Uh, of the person and in the initial first 7 8 10 years is the making by the school and the parents and the teachers teachers parents and the school and the home so it's a home is your first school if that foundation is made rightly so i think there is no looking back but honestly ma'am i mean the way you have faced up to challenges i mean I yesterday I was looking at an article and which said you know the ten things you would not know about Kiran Bedi and I was so proud because I knew all ten of them. <laughs> so you know you have huge amount of challenges and what would be your advice to our young girls today? How can they be more fearless? I mean the way you faced up to everything and never allowed circumstances to cow you down. It is by doing. Ah, हम लोग पढ़ते हैं लेकिन doing नहीं करते. We must get involved into doing. और काम कोई छोटा नहीं कोई मोटा नहीं मूव टू वर्ड सेल्फ रिलायंस अर्ली आप दसवीं जमात पास कर गए लेकिन मैंने आपको बोला आई हैड स्टार्टेड टू चैलेंज माय पेरेंट्स एट द एज ऑफ अर्ली फॉर द कॉलेज टाइम कि मैं आप स्कॉलरशिप में पढ़ूंगी मैं स्कॉलरशिप अर्न करूंगी बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू गेट ऑन माई फीट फास्टर बट आई वॉज अ वॉल्टियर इवन एट द एज ऑफ फोर्टीन सो अपने आप को वॉल्टियर करें काम के लिए जितना आप वॉल्टियर करेंगे आपको नया नया एक्सपीरियंस मिलेगा लाइफ का उसमें आप कुछ सीखेंगे लेकिन अगर आप सिर्फ किताब पढ़ेंगे तो आपको इन्फॉर्मेशन मिलेगी 
लेकिन वही इंफॉर्मेशन जब आप कुछ काम करेंगे छोटी उम्र में खेलेंगे भी ट्राई भी करेंगे एक्सपेरिमेंट भी करेंगे मोबिलिटी भी रखेंगे कैंप्स भी अटेंड करेंगे हाइकिंग में भी जाएंगे एडवेंचर में भी जाएंगे वॉल्टियर भी करेंगे आपको हर जगह आपको कुछ ना कुछ नई सीख मिलेगी और आप सीखते सीखते कॉन्फिडेंट होते जाएंगे लेकिन अगर आप अपने आप को शेल्टर्ड लाइफ में जा लेंगे तब आप कब सीखेंगे तो आपके लिए हर चीज एक बहुत बहुत हैवी हो जाएगी लेकिन अगर आप छोटी उम्र से खेलने लगे कंपीट करने लगे सीखने लगे और एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज में पार्टिसिपेट करने लग जाए ये मत घबराए इनाम मिलेगा कि नहीं प्रैक्टिस तो है ना नई लर्निंग तो है ना टीम बिल्डिंग भी तो है ना आई थिंक दैट्स अ पॉइंट इट्स डूइंग इट द मोर यू डू द मोर कॉन्फिडेंट यू स्टार्ट बिकमिंग द लेस यू डू द मोर हेसिडेंट मोर डिफिडेंट मोर डाउटफुल यू रिमेन ऑफ योर सेल्फ आई वॉज अ डूअर फ्रॉम द वेरी लाइक साइकिलिंग ऑल माई ऑल माई टाइम फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ सेवन एट वेन आई कुड स्टार्ट साइकिलिंग आई साइकिल माई सेल्फ टू द स्कूल सो वेन आई वॉज टू गो साइकिलिंग आपको पता है आपके लिए एक पूरा जीवन खुल जाता है जब आप साइकिलिंग करके स्कूल जाते हैं या पब्लिक बस में जाते हैं नॉट इन अ शेल्टर्ड कॉलेज स्कूल बस बट इन अ पब्लिक बस जहां मुझे भाग भाग के गाड़ी को पकड़ना है भाग भाग के पकड़ना है बस को रोकना है बस में घुसना है बस में अपनी जगह बनानी है थर्ड क्लास ट्रैवल करना है थर्ड क्लास में अपना ट्रैवल के लिए जगह बनानी है टिकट नॉट रिजर्वेशन में लाइन में घुस के अपने लिए टिकट लेनी है रास्ते में उतर के गाड़ी से उतर के अपना खाना ला वापस आना है इस चैलेंजेस रात को किसी जगह टेनिस के लिए पहुंचना है रात के तो रिक्शा लेनी है कैसे करना है सो एवरीथिंग वॉज अ चैलेंज इट वॉज इन्वाइटिंग स्मॉल स्मॉल चैलेंजेस ऑफ कोर्स अंडर पेरेंटल सुपरविजन पेरेंट्स की सुपरविजन हो देख रेख है लेकिन इट्स लाइक थ्रोइंग यू टू द स्विमिंग पूल के जाओ स्विम करो आज नई स्विमिंग ये करो ये भी स्विमिंग ये भी ब्रेस्ट स्ट्रोक करो अब ये बटरफ्लाई करो अब ये इतने लैप्स करो माई फादर यू से पांच राउंड लाए ना ट्रॉफी के लिए वेज योर सिक्स राउंड सिक्स राउंड इज फॉर द एक्स्ट्रा माइल माई पेरेंट्स से रन द एक्स्ट्रा माइल ट्रॉफी विल कम ओनली वेन यू डू दैट एक्स्ट्रा सो आई थिंक द ट्रेनिंग टू डू एक्स्ट्रा इज वेरी मच सो मैं जो एक्स्ट्रा सो इफ स्टूडेंट्स एवरी स्टूडेंट कैन फाइंड देयर ओन एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटी टू डू एंड टेक अप मोर चैलेंजेस डरना नहीं घबराना नहीं शर्माना नहीं सीखना This is an age back while the parents are there, the teachers are there, your protection is there. This is the time to learn more, not lose this protected time for not taking adventure and risk. That's the time to take your risks. And then, up the up the goals are not done. You must know what you want. You must know. I knew what I wanted. That I want to be self-reliant as I grow up. मुझे अपना कमाना है. मुझे अपना कमाना है मुझे कभी किसी से कुछ नहीं करना मुझे अपना कमाना है मुझे अपना जीवन जीना है मैंने दूसरों के काम आने तो कभी पढ़ाई से फिर मेरी आंख पटी नहीं कोई डिस्ट्रैक्शन नहीं मैंने आने दी कोई जल्दबाजी नहीं आने दी सी ये बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट था कि मुझे पहले अपने पाँव पे खड़े होना है मुझे अपना अपना काम अपने सेल्फ रिलायंट बनना है सो इसी इट वॉज अ प्रेपरेटरी एट दैट आई नेवर लॉस टाइट ऑफ दैट गोल एंड दैट गोल स्टिल रिमेन्स to be self reliant whether even as an administrator you have to be self reliant i need, i would rule by law i would read my rules i would live within my financial means i would do my things myself which i can but agar help hai bhi to us par dependent nahi hona hai to okay ek din wapas is help ke bina wapas jana hai so therefore jitni der hai hai jab nahi hai to mujhe is par dependent nahi hona hai that is a habit of self reliant Sorry. Uh, gender bias. Uh, sorry, I interrupted you. Uh, there's a question that have you faced a gender bias during your career, and uh, what is your message to especially you know girls who are getting into into jobs, into building careers? See, I could see gender bias. Girls were not preferred, but I used to make my way. I used to make my way. Gender bias was hundred percent. Tha, hundred percent. Tha. That ke mara tennis tournament ho rahi hai. बॉयज फाइनल को कोर्ट नंबर वन और मेरा गर्ल्स फाइनल को लास्ट कोर्ट पे क्यों भी क्यों लड़कों बच्चों ऑडियंस रिस्पेक्टेड को गर्ल्स फाइनल नहीं चाहिए बॉयज फाइनल कर रहे हो फर्स्ट पे और मेरा हमारा गर्ल्स तो मैं एजुटेशन करती थी क्योंकि मैं बैठ जाती थी कोर्ट पे पहले गलाओ लड़कियों को वापस सो आई सी हमें 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 खर्चा पूरा नहीं देते थे 
बॉयज को दे रहे फर्स्ट क्लास खर्चा मुझे दे रहे थर्ड क्लास मैं क्या क्यों क्योंकि मैं लड़की हूं मैं नहीं देती ये लो ये भी रखो अपने पास मैं क्वेश्चन करूंगी सो आई शू क्वेश्चन इन जस्टिस आई न्यू इट वॉज नॉट इट वॉज अ पावर प्ले इट वॉज अ पावर प्ले दे थॉट हम नहीं बोल सकते हमको दबा देंगे तो मैं दबती नहीं थी जब मेरा अधिकार बट आई न्यू वॉट टू डू आई शू नॉट बी इम्पोलाइट आई नेवर यूज टू बी रूड बट आई शू से दैट सर आई हैव स्पेंड दिस दिस इज माई इंटाइटलमेंट आई मस्ट गेट दिस लेकिन वो है कॉन्फिडेंस की बात अगर आप कॉन्फिडेंस मैं कैसे करूं मैं रोऊ ये रोना नहीं मैं दूसरों को लेके चलती थी चलो जाके बोलते एनसीसी मैंने बहुत की एनसीसी बहुत सिखाती चारों साल मैंने एनसीसी की एक भी हाजिरी मिस नहीं की आई वॉज रिवॉर्डेड द बेस्ट एनसीसी कैडेट फॉर फोर ईयर्स रनिंग विद हंड्रेड परसेंट अटेंडेंस मैम कुछ क्वेश्चन कोविड के ऊपर आ रहे हैं नेचुरली स्टूडेंट आर वेरी नर्वस One question is: uh, Could the world have uh, done something different for COVID? And what's your views about life after COVID? Is it going to change? What's your message to the students? Well, if we had been alerted earlier by the country, like particularly China, uh, which where the where the problem started, and had they closed, stopped traveling, sending out uh, tourists and passengers out, and alerted the the world that this is a transmissible disease, it's infectious, the world could have been saved. पर हुआ नहीं वो जब तक जब तक फैल गया था जब तक तब फैल चुका था क्योंकि इतनी फास्ट एयर ट्रैवल है कि जो भी एसिम्टोमेटिक भी लेके आ गया जब टेस्टिंग शुरू हुई तब तक ऑलरेडी फैल चुका था सो so, अब उसके बाद सिचुएशन सिर्फ यही थी कि लॉकडाउन करो और लोगों को कुछ देर अपने आप रिकवर होने दो क्योंकि दिस आल्सो हैज अ टेंडेंसी टू रिकवर फॉर इट सेल्फ सो दिस वाज ट्राइड बट इट कुड नॉट इट कुड बी डिफरेंट इफ वी हैड गॉट अर्ली सिग्नल्स टू क्लोज डाउन द कंट्री क्लोज डाउन कंट्रीज एंड एवरी कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड टुडे हैज सफर्ड एवरीबॉडीज इकोनॉमीज एंड एवरीबॉडीज इक्वल नाउ इफ इफ एवरीबॉडी सफर्ड इक्वली देयर इज नो कंट्री व्हिच हैज बीन इंसुलेटेड फ्रॉम दिस बट some countries are recovering faster some had taking longer it also depends on the size of your populations new zealand is a small country it could move move in faster taiwan is a small country it could move in faster and it was also better resourced core south korea had better medical resources could recover faster so these are scandinavian country but some of them done exceedingly well i believe germany also did very well under Angela Merkel. So we have some countries where they've done well, but ये prevent ये फैल चुकी थी. अभी हमारे हाथ में. अब हमारे हाथ में. मैं अपने आप को भी बचाऊं और अपना मेरा बचाऊं तुम्हारे हाथ में. तुम्हारा बचाऊं मेरे हाथ में. मैं तुम्हें infect कर सकती हूँ. अगर मैं तुम्हारे पर ठीक तो. और मुझे symptomatic. इसीलिए इसीलिए it's very important to have a uh, have a mask. That's why. हाथों से कोई गलत आंखों को ना लग जाए मुंह में ना जली जाए दैट्स वाई कीपिंग टेबल टॉप्स क्लीन एनीथिंग यू डोंट टच अदरवाइज कम एंड डू डिस इन्फेक्टेड सो ये प्रिवेंशन सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है इस वक्त गलती करना नहीं ठीक लेकिन सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग करते हुए मास्क लगाते हुए क्लीनिंग रखते हुए यू कैन डू यूज योर टाइम बेटर एट द मोमेंट यू कैन यूज योर टाइम बेटर इन इन Uh, in knowledge in learnings and there are so many ways of learning now all available on the net pick up anything you want absolutely ma'am uh, there some questions on uh, policing i hope you don't mind you know the audience is asking these so arvind is asking he's saying that uh, our policemen are generally perceived to be corrupt and insensitive uh, why is that when if you compare that with the bobbies in england it's very different Uh, and the second related question is uh, how can the police deal with corruption in politics so these are two questions for you from the audience first of all everybody is not equal don't paint everybody with the same brush today's covid challenge is being actually dealt with by the police directly it is police which is distributing food it is police which is helping you stay safe so remember covid is totally being internally Handled with very grave risk. 
if hospital doctors are serving in the hospitals putting them at risk policemen on the ground are putting themselves at risk and making sure that we all observe safer distances observe enforcement of lockdown enforcement of now opening of the lockdown maintaining social distances so don't paint everybody with the same brush yes we got good and bad and the ugly in everywhere so does the police have and so does every country has you see what's happened recently in america where you had the good the bad and the ugly even there so if you keep track of police news then no country is immune but some countries are better than the other however india has its own the good the bad and the ugly but the ugly makes news good doesn't make news therefore you lose the balance similarly in corruption it is the kind of people we come from educational society after all who's coming into uh, who's coming into the police services or administration students from universities and colleges what did they do what kind of character building did they make while they have passed the test but they don't pass the character test but character building uh, cannot happen after training character building happens before training when you are in college when you are at school when you are at home why did the society what, but the test is only of your exam of the of the subjects you did the iq but your emotional quotient and spiritual quotient is not tested that only life tests you so i think we should take the blame of having produced corrupt people why should education institution not first focus on character building more than the degree Absolutely. giving Absolutely, and Poonam does a lot of that. I can assure you, man. Uh, you might want to talk a minute on that, Poonam, and uh, I think a couple of related questions about that which you might want to pose to him. In fact, when uh, Ma'am was talking about volunteering, Ma'am, we uh, you know do this uh, very specifically for our students, and there are a lot of uh, NGOs, uh, whether it's muscular dystrophy or cancer or just cleaning up uh, around our uh, universities, our small villages, and all. we do a lot of work uh, around these things and honestly speaking what you said when you were talking about volunteering i agree with you 100% because i have myself seen the change in my students not not just with their communication or whatever but it makes them so much more empathetic and you know better human beings when they go out in the streets and see what the world is going through so it, it, it it's an amazing experience and i think all of us like the foreign universities have it we should Like we in Shulini have a credit course for uh, social work. I think every campus should do it. They should and also work with panchayats. Our girls and boys should work with panchayats also. The rural areas. Yes. Go and become uh, work with the sarpanch. Work with the, the mahila mandals. Work with the women punches. So that one day, as educated graduates, they could become punches and sarpanches. Because in village development, there is a great scope these days. We must teach rural development. to do our students so that they don't run away from the in fact they should love being in the village and develop their own village and get into agriculture horticulture floriculture animal husbandry bunny honey bee keeping there's enough money in that and there's so much of joy so rather than uh, they running to the towns uh, and living in small rooms no let them love their pond their tank their river their canal and look after it plant more trees you need to link them with nature ask your students not to run away from their own villages instead invest into their own villages and take up the as prime minister says local and local make the local vocal handicraft of that village and music of that village art and culture of that village schooling of that medical facility of that village i think if this covid actually should teach us not to run to urban areas unnecessarily at all absolutely ma'am uh, ananya is, is saying you know everything that you've said is so high energy and so crystal clear so what is the source of your high energy ma'am how do you bring so much clarity in your thoughts i think energy comes from a state of mind what do you want with yourself well if first of all good health is grace energy after all comes from your body basically physical energy comes from your body but the physical energy is directed by your by your what you want that's coming from your own understanding of life 
right? Who do you want to be? So I think that's important. Energy is what do you want to do with your life? What do you want to do with your day? And it's one day at a time. So I, I, even if I want to sleep, I sleep to gain more energy to do well. I want to read more, therefore I want to rest a little to read more. I think the secret is what do you want to do? What do you want to be? Who do you want to be? Why do you want to be? And then how do you want to be? What should you do? You have to ask these questions yourself. These and answers of these questions um, r remains the secret of energy. Energy is all about right thinking, right food, right living, right doing, right time management. You see, it's about a lifestyle. Energy is about a lifestyle. Also right talking, right listening. You can listen to noise and get a headache, but listen to the, something soft and get energy out. Or do a satsang, get energy out and get into a, a noisy place and get dissipated. I remember I was reward uh, one day, there was an award, Mother Teresa Award in Bombay, and I flew all the way to get Mother Teresa Award uh, in social service. Many years ago, I went to Mumbai from Delhi. And I went there, there was a large crowd, bahut bada tha, bahut bada crowd tha. Kyunki unhone bahut sare logo ko bulaya tha inam ke liye. Usme mein bhi thi. I think I must have been one of the 15 people being awarded the Mother Teresa Award for Social Service. Lekin itna zyada wa noise tha. Itna noise tha. Itna aur itna uncha tha. I could not stay for more than five minutes. I just left. I did not stay back to receive the award. Because what was hitting me here was, was more precious than receiving that physical award. So I excused myself. I said, I'm sorry, I just cannot stay. Because this is, a, this, is, this is discharging my own energy. I can't take this noise. So thank you very much. I've come all the way. I accept the award. It's a very prestigious award for me. And I already accepted. You can send the trophy home by courier. But now I'm going to Because I'm not so much. Because I'm more very particular what happens to me. So I, I don't let others dictate over me. I handle my own self. So what is it I have a right to I exercise my discretion to say no. What should mm -hmm. I be said to no? And I have a discretion to exercise yes when it's time to say yes. See, I said no to something which was very precious for them. But I said no. This is not the way. It is not so much noise in my दूसरों के पास अगर कैपेसिटी है बहुत सारे सुनने की प्लीज करो लेकिन मेरे पास नहीं है कब क्योंकि मैंने ये देखा मेरी एनर्जी इससे डिस्चार्ज मेरी थकान बढ़ रही है इससे सो आई थिंक दिस आर ट्रेन थिंग्स व्हिच कम बाय ट्रेनिंग यू मस्ट रिस्पेक्ट योरसेल्फ दैट इज एनर्जी इज अनदर फॉर्म ऑफ रिस्पेक्टिंग योर एंड यू डू व्हाट यू डू जो आप डेलीगेट कर सकते हैं दूसरों कर सकते हैं वो करो जो आप वो करो जो आप नहीं कर सकते दैट्स वेयर यू इन्वेस्ट योर एनर्जी लेकिन हम सारा कुछ वो कर सकते हैं जो हम दूसरा कोई कर सकता है और ये नहीं कि मैं राज करूं आप तुम करो नो आई डू व्हाट आई लाइक टू डू एंड आई जनरेट एनर्जी इवन आउट ऑफ व्हाट आई डू दैट्स अ सीक्रेट ऑफ माय एनर्जी वंडरफुल मैम आई थिंक वी हैव गॉट अ कपल ऑफ मिनट्स लेफ्ट सो आई गेस टू मोर क्वेश्चंस वन पूनम द लास्ट वन इज फॉर यू uh, so Kavita is asking, ma'am, your biggest disappointment in life and how did you overcome it? Look, my biggest disappointment is the kind of, at places, political leadership we have. And even sometimes, even public servants we have. To me, this is a disappointment. The kind of, of public officials we have, whether elected or appointed. And at any level, it's not only at the top level, it is at any level. Even sometimes the teachers we have, it's a disappointment. People who've been entrusted with an important responsibility of teaching, right, of leading or administering, and they commit a breach of trust. To me, this is a very big disappointment. I feel very angry about it. Jab logo ko jab kuch vishwas de diya jata hai, kaam ka, aur wo vishwas lete hai, they ask for it. They uh, are paid for it and they are into those positions and then they do not perform to me this is the biggest breach of trust it could be a teacher and let me tell you it could be even a parent even a parent to me 
is a disappointment when the parents do not fulfill their responsibility of children they brought up. So for me, the biggest disappointment are guardians of society or those who've been who've taken responsibility or been appointed and they commit a breach of trust. I'm a person who values trusting most than anything else. Agar aap vishwas ghat karte, you're not a good human being. You're not reliable. You've got to be a reliable human being. Particularly if you've been interested in the responsibility of public. Apne aap ko kya karte ho, aap ki marzi. Lekin agar aapne dousro ki zumbar li hai, us mein aap dhoka karte ho, ye ek baat badi cheating. So I don't like cheating. I don't like people who cheat. People who commit breach of trust. They disappoint me. And then you can't do much about them. Because there are no systems, because they don't get caught. They tell lies, what do you do with them? They misinform people, what do you do with them? You can only counter them. How many times would you like to waste time doing that? So you don't, you use your energy accordingly, right? So I think what, what disappoints me most is when people are misled, whether by appointed public servants or uh, elected, or parents and teachers who got, who volunteered responsibility. Otherwise, you can't walk away. Parenting, you can't walk away. Teacher, get out. Let's move out. If you can't teach properly and if you can't try transformative education, move out. Like a doctor, usko patient dena hai. Patient ka kaam hai, lekin patient ko ill treat karta hai ya usko chata hai ki mein isse pehle business bana lo. These are areas of very heavy responsibility. When they mislead to me, that's the biggest disappointment. So well said, ma'am. So, such a different answer. Poonam, your last question. Yes. My last question is, ma'am, you've done so many things. You've taught, you've played tennis, you've run your NGOs, you've been into politics, you've hosted TV shows, uh, won scores of awards. Is there anything left on your bucket list that you feel you still have to do? <laughs> well, I'd never asked for anything of that kind. I've mm -hmm. just done what was the need of the hour. It was, I have gone by the need of the hour. Okay. All these things have just come by the, by the way. So I will continue to respond to the need of the hour. Whether it's my personal need or whether it's a public need. It all depends on the kind of responsibility which that day will give me. I'll only respond to that. But as long as I have energy, obviously there is action and karma with it. So. If God continues, nature continues to bestow you with good energy, then it has a higher purpose. I would love to continue to fulfill a higher purpose. Thank you very, very much, ma'am. There's so many thank yous, so many e hugs. I think uh, you've got so many that's friends. That's right. Yeah. And my I don't, too. I don't know if tell you how many comments, ma'am. It's difficult for me to track. Uh, you know, once Corona gets over, we'd love to see you in person. You know, in fact, Manju was asking, she said in one of the interviews, you sang a Punjabi song and she said, can you request uh, Kiran Mehmet to sing? I said, no, I'm not going to do that. When you're here in person, we'd love uh, you to do that, uh, not on a webinar. If I sing but it once here, every webinar, there's a singer song. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, very happy he hug to all of you. He hug. Yes. Same to you, ma'am. And thank you so much. It's been a delight to have you. And thank you for what you are. Honestly, I'm a huge fan of yours. And I'm sure there are thousands of people on this webinar today who feel the same way. But thank you for being what you are. And thank you for being with us today. Thank Shri you for inviting me. Thank you for I'd all the like honor. I'd like to make and one last statement, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, you know, you said you're going to take 45 minutes and you've been 17, 17 minutes over that. Just shows your love for students and children. Thank you so much. We are honored, delighted and very excited. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.